Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the left menu on TradingView to start to annotate your charts and draw some analysis on the stocks of your choosing and your liking. So assuming that you've been able to call up a stock and a time period, you're now ready to start putting some analysis on this chart. If you want to know how to do the basics, watch the other video in which we introduce you to TradingView, how to create your layouts and save them and access them later on. In today's video, I'm going to focus on doing the analysis and walking you through each of these tools. The very first thing many traders will do is start to draw levels and start to draw trend lines on every stock. So as you can see here, I've already done it on Microsoft, but I'm going to delete it and show you from scratch. The tool on the left hand side here is the line. It will be the one that allows you to draw lines on your charts. The horizontal line is done by clicking this first button and choosing horizontal line and beside it you can see there's a short code of alt h so wherever you hover your mouse if you type in alt h it will start to plot horizontal levels for you for supports and resistances now i like these levels so far it's a quick way of doing your level analysis on microsoft horizontally if you do not like these lines you can go to format right click and format you can always change the color all right, you could change the thickness of the line and as well as putting any amount of text, changing the font. It's very customizable on TradingView. That's how you do your horizontal levels uh, on TradingView. If you right click and delete it, in fact, what you could also do is just click that and click, right click rather, sorry, remove, or just click the line and hit delete and that will remove these lines from your window. The other one that you could use here is trend line that I use very often. It's a single click and hold and then release it and click again. And then you do the same thing. You click here, single click, hold, click again and release. And same idea. You can start to see some ascending trend lines moving up on Microsoft. In fact, Microsoft might be ready for a retracement based on this last run up. That's how you draw your ascending trend lines. On the left side here, you have many different tools. You could draw arrows. You could draw arrays. You could draw a number of other things and customize them. You could draw a parallel channel. So you click the top, click the bottom and of the channel. So the way that would work, let me just do it a little bit better for you. You click the top, click this bottom, and you could draw it parallel uh, to that point. All right. There you go. That's a little bit better. And you could draw a number of things here uh, for your analysis. You could also do... Uh, a regression trend and many other vertical lines with alt V the ones that I like to use most often are on the right side here they're my favorites trend line horizontal line and horizontal ray if you like one of them that's different than me you can click the star and add it to favorites and it will show up up top here in your favorite indicators and tools to use as you can see right here the other thing you want to look at next is the second tool which is your Fibonacci based drawing capabilities on TradingView. If you click this arrow here or the button on the left hand side, it'll pull up all your Fibonacci tools. There's a wide array of Fibonacci tools. The one that I used to or I love to use is Fibonacci retracement. If you click Fibonacci retracement, click a low, retrace it to a high or run it up to a high, you could see it shows you levels at which there will be support if the stock starts to pull back. If you want to learn how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool a little bit more in depth on TradingView. You could watch one of our specific videos on that and I'll include the link in the description. It's very helpful and it's a very popular video on YouTube. Excited to share that with you as well. So in here you could use a number of Fibonacci tools. You could do Fibonacci retrace retracements. The other favorite tool of mine is trend based Fib extensions which allows you to choose one low up to a high and then you have to choose a retracement that is a Fibonacci retracement to which you could apply an expansion which starts to look like this if you want to modify any of the levels again anything that you have on the chart right click and format will allow you to go in here change the colors change the levels and allow you to manipulate and modify that tool those are your Fibonacci tools on the second side I'll allow you to experiment and play with them the third option down here is allows you to draw with a brush so this is a freehand brush and each one of these drawings that's created then becomes a line on the chart so you then have to click it and delete each one if you want to remove them so this is really neat if you're 
trying to draw some free head stuff and you say, hey, I want to probably buy it if there's some support down here or down here and you want to leave that annotation on your chart. All right, another thing you could do here is you could draw rectangles and these rectangles could be full or transparent. You could make the thickness of them for the border different. You could make them either more transparent or more um, less transparent or more or less transparent. <laughs> and uh, you could draw triangles. You could edit them. You could make them thick. You could change the visibility to show the coordinates. There's a lot of different tools. Again, anything on the chart, you could just right click, go to format, and you'll have the ability to change the appearance of it. Remove it. You could also clone it. You could see there if you just hold control and click and move and actually clones or duplicates any piece of data that you have on the chart. In that same instance, you could do that for the trend line. If you like this trend line, hold control, click it. There we go. We just made a duplicate. If you like this one, hold control, click it. We just made another duplicate to create a trend channel. So that's another little tip that I have for you holding control and clicking and dragging anything creates a separate instance of it. So that's your shape drawing tools here. You can do triangles, ellipses, arcs, and anything in between. Um, if you are a pattern trader, you can allow it allows you to also identify patterns here. So for a head and shoulders example, I don't see one on here that has actually worked. Let's assume this is a head and shoulders, left shoulder. One second. You go in here and say, for example, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. All right, and it creates a neckline for you and highlights it. I don't really use this often. I visualize my patterns and my support levels help me uh, in that sense. However, you could map anything here, including Elliott impulse waves. We were here rather. Your ABCD patterns, triangle patterns, these are your harmonics. A lot of traders use this in currency trading, your harmonic harmonic patterns. Keep an eye out on this. Give it a shot if you trade currencies uh, or if you want to implement the stocks. You could also do Elliott waves, impulse waves, uh, retraces, triangles. And we teach a lot of this Elliott wave analysis in our foundations course as well at tradeproacademy.com. Very useful stuff. Now it allows you to actually implement it on your charts so you don't lose track of it. One of my favorite drawing features here is the positions section, which if you click on this area, it'll bring all your position tools. You could pretend to have a long position here. So if you click the long position, basically, and click on the chart, it brings this up for you and you can move it around. If you assume to have bought at this level and all of this stuff is actually edit, you could edit it. If you assume to have bought at this level and your target is up here and your stop loss, for example, you click and drag it, you say it's here, then it shows you the trade. This is your entry, your stop is down here, here's your target. If you hover over it, it actually tells you your parameters. 48% return on 8% risk. And in the middle here, it tells you risk to reward ratio 5.46. And it allows you to also demo trade as well. So if you're ever back testing a strategy or you have a trade idea that you want to plot on the chart, this is my absolute favorite tool for doing it. Very useful. Um, you could also create a forecast here, which I really like this tool as well. One of my favorite tools in this section is the bars pattern, which allows you to say this rally looks like it's happened before or this retracement and I want to copy it. So what you do is you click bars pattern, click where you want to copy it from and where it ends and you can now copy this price action and apply it to the current market value and say, hey, if another retracement like that happens, this is what it would look like. This is called the bars pattern and I do this often for past analysis and uh, projections for the future based on past analysis. Here you could see a whole bunch of icons that you could place on your charts. You could see you could really annotate this stuff. The next one down is your measure tool. So if you click the measure tool and you say, hey, I wonder how long it's been since August 17th to right now. Well, if you click it, you can see it's been 114 trading days, 798 days in total. Actually, 114 weeks because it's 114 bars, and right now we're on a weekly chart. It's been 114 weeks, about 798 days. We've went up $46.21, which is 116.54% rally. So this really shows you specifics of moves, and you can go ahead and then just delete it. It's just a measuring tool. Once you hit escape, it's gone. It doesn't stay on your chart. It just helps you. Shift and click on chart is how you pull this up. You can just say, hey, from here to here, and it shows up automatically. That's the shortcut keys. All right, the plus helps you zoom in on price action. 
So if you click here and do this, it'll help you zoom in on price action. To reset it, right click on the right and say reset scale. Uh, another scrolling or navigational tool uh, that I'll bring up right now while we're here is if you hold control down and hit the left arrow key, your charts move to the left and the right arrow key to the right and it helps you uh, do that. If you hold shift, it actually moves it slower. All right, and if you go right click reset, everything will uh, show back up on your chart the way that it was. Also the scroll wheel works and clicking and dragging is also a method of moving charts back and forth. Um, another thing you want to see here is stay in drawing mode. Uh, lock all drawing tools just won't allow you to actually draw anymore. Let's assume you've added a few triangles here, some Fibonacci extensions and it's your chart's starting to get a little bit sloppy. Let's say you just want to see price action for whatever reason. There's too many things going on you want to see price action. This is a neat little button here that puts all the drawing tools and takes them off and turns them back on, takes them off and turns them back on. Um, objects tree, you could see what you've drawn here and remove things individually if you click show objects tree and that pretty much allows you to remove one by one of the elements. Alright, so there you have it. In this video I focus on showing you how to annotate and how to draw on your trading view charts so you start to put some trading ideas together, so you start to put some analysis that you could follow and track with. If this has been helpful with for you, please like, share, subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming for you. And in the next section of this trading view tutorial, we're gonna start talking about building templates and how you could start to save those templates with your own technical indicators. How to add RSI, how to add MACD, and how to make those settings and changes, and then how to save those templates and also how to save those charts in the JPEG PNG form and save them onto your computer or share them on social media. That's our next video. Stay tuned for it. It's part of this TradingView tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a bunch, and we'll talk to you soon.